So a member in our Discord, Jen, wanted me to look at some options spreads that he's got going on. Now, I like spreads. I think spreads are a really good way to be able to play the movement of a stock without having to actually own the shares. And it also lets you do it with less buying power than trying to buy the option outright. Because sometimes options on especially high-flying stocks are going to be very, very expensive. Some people don't want to buy the option outright. And what you can do is you can do a spread. What that lets you do is that lets you buy the long option and then you're going to sell another option in the same expiration time period. By selling it, you collect premium, which offsets the cost of buying. The downside is, of course, that you're capping your profits, whereas if you just had a regular option, then you would be able to get unlimited profits. But that's the sacrifice that you make. You cap your profits, but you also lower the risk, lower the amount it's going to cost. So the first one that he wanted me to look at was his Apple. Uh, he has a spread, an Apple 480, 490 call spread. So let's, let's take a look at quickly that on the charts, and then we'll talk about the mathematics of it. So we're looking at the chart right now. Today's uh, 814, and we need to draw lines at 480 and 490. So this is going to be our buy strike, which is going to be off the chart, but we'll fix that. And then we're going to have the sell strike. All right, so it's up there. Now his expiration was for 821. So that's not that far away. That's only about a week or so. So the question we got to ask ourselves are, what are the chances that it's going to get up there uh, within a week? Well, they're not zero, but they're probably pretty low. And what you need to understand is for you to get the full value of your spread, you need to get all the way up and or past the sold leg. So in order to get the full value, the full max profit of the spread, we would have to get above 490. And that's possible, but we don't know if we're going to get that or not. But let's take a look at the math. So he bought this option spread for 130. So the question is, what is our max profit? Well, that's actually pretty simple to figure out. The max profit is going to be the difference uh, between the bought leg and the sold leg. So in this case, because we've got 480 going up to 490, that's a difference of 10. So our max profit is going to be 10. And of course, when you buy options, you have to assume that you're multiplying it by 100 because you're having control over 100 shares. So what this basically means is we've bought this for $130 and our max profit is 10. So our max profit is $1,000. If we paid 130 and the most we can make out of it on the full value of the spread is 1000 then we stand to make a max profit of $870. I like this. I like the risk reward on this because we could make 870 for a risk of 130. This is very good, but the reason we're able to get such a good reward to risk is because it's kind of far away and we don't have that long to get there. If it, we don't get up to 480, we lose the full value. If we get somewhere in between, we can get some value. I like it from a risk reward standpoint, but it's almost too good. You really have to have a sort of big movement that is sort of improbable for you to get to your max profit. But that's okay. It's a good start. This is how you can evaluate them. Let's look at his next one. So the next one that he has is Tesla. He has the 1545, 1560 call spread. So 1545, 1560. Puts us very, very tight in there. Let's zoom in a little bit, like say on the two hour, and take a look at it there. We're already well, well into the money on these. So that's good. We're at the max profit. And he paid 580 for it. And we're already in the money, so what is our max profit? Well, the difference between the strike prices is 15. So if we paid 580, our max is 15. Our max profit is going to be 920 because it's 15 minus 5.8. That's 9.2. $920. And he has this out until February of 21, but he's only up $118 as when he sent this to me. And the reason he's not at his max profit, even though he's so far into the money, is because he has too much time. And that's also a problem with spreads. You can have too little time, in that case it can't get to where you need it to get to, or you can have too much time and you're going to have to wait for that spread to come in. The full value will not come in until expiration. So while you've removed time in some sense, as far as buying a naked option, 
where you're always going to have theta working against you. With a spread, sometimes you have to wait. You have to wait for it to come in. As long as the price of Tesla stays above 1560, he's slowly going to get this spread to come in at $920. The only problem is he's going to have to wait until February. Now, you can close a spread at any time that you want without getting the full value, but I don't like that because he put $580 on the table to begin with, and it could have easily gone against him. We've looked at two extremes. We've looked at extremes where you take an option spread that is too short, and in that case, you may not have enough time to get fully in the money. On the flip side, you have an option spread that is too long, and it's going to take a while for this to come in at max profit. You really have to find a Goldilocks zone for what spreads work for you in your trading. You need to try to get the time and the price movement correct. And that's just the case with any options play. You've got to factor in the time and the price movement in order to make any money. And that's the finesse. And it's an art. And you have to just do trial and error, see what works for you, and come up with a strategy that plays into what you're trying to accomplish. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, just ask me in the Discord. Thanks, and see you on the next video.